All right, I think I'm live. Um, this is a first uh, for me uh, to go live um, here. So this should be a short video just walking you through uh, securing the WP login. Um, and obviously this only works if you're using Cloudflare. Um, I'm a huge fan of Cloudflare just because it has, I've seen a lot of servers that are just getting hammered uh, using 100% CPU usage. And by switching someone over to Cloudflare and then enabling some, some block, bot blocking uh, tools, uh, seen the CPU you know, drop dramatically down to one and two percent CPU usage um, because some of the sites I host uh, are should be extremely low traffic, um, and sometimes um, you know bots or scripts that people have written just don't really care if the site is you know popular or not or what it is. They're just trying to hack it. Um, so let me just walk you through a couple basic things that I do uh, when I'm when I'm uh, in Cloudflare. Um, first, I go over to security, I go to bots, and make sure that I have this on, uh, bot fight mode. Um, that will, it, it comes in handy, and I've seen that that work where it'll drop the CPU. Uh, it all depends on, on what's, what's hitting what here. Um, but the, I've never seen this hurt anything, turning this on. Um, um, that's a somewhat true statement. I have seen it where um, some um, some backup tools like uh, Blog Vault, uh, which I know in the WordPress community, people a lot of people in the WordPress community use uh, Blog Vault. Blog Vault doesn't like it when you have this on, and you have to whitelist uh, Blog Vault. So if you're using that or or some other services to back up your site, this could be a problem. I know it doesn't affect managed WP, uh, those backups, um, so so you should be fine if you're using managed WP. Um, that's not a pr promotion uh, for for either, <laughs> either of those. Um, but anyway, so turn on your, your bot blocking tools here, and then um, if you look at my traffic in here, um, I get, I'm getting some traffic from Singapore, um, which is probably actually. Let's go through that and see if we can find um, where that is or what that is. Um, so Singapore, only nine items. I don't see anything in here. Okay, I do see tour traffic. Um, so I, I've been seeing a lot of uh, Singapore traffic lately, and um, I'm blocking that. Um, it seems to be this thing called PedalBot. So I'll tell you what, I'll set up a rule to block PedalBot, and then I'll set up a tour rule, and then I'll get to the wp-login.php uh, block. Um, so let's do that. So let's go over here. We'll set up our first rule, and let's block... Um, Pedalbot, which seems to be all coming from Singapore. I don't, I haven't done any research on what Pedalbot is, but let's do this. So if, um, I'm going to call it if bot. Um, I'll, I'll, I could add more things to this in the future, but so let's do this. So if, um, I think user agent, user, so if the user agent contains the string Pedalbot, Petalbot. I'm going to go ahead and block that. I don't know what Petalbot is. Um, someone in the comments, feel free to let me know what Petalbot is. Um, but all I know is it's killing some of my servers. Um, so I'm going to do, I'm just going to completely block it. The safer thing to do um, is to give it a JavaScript challenge, but I just know that it's bad, so I'm deploying that rule. So if it's those bots, and what I could do also, so this little blue dot appears here. Um, okay, now it's applied, so the blue dot's gone. Um, but I could come back over here, and you know, if I find some other user agent that's a bot, I could just do if it's if it contains Petalbot or the user agent equals you know X, Y, and Z. Like if you want to block some bot that keeps hammering your server, you can you can block it at the DNS level, which is handy. Um, the other thing I want to do is 
the Tor. Um, I'm not sure if you're familiar with Tor, and I'm not 100% sure why the blue dot appeared again, but whatever. Uh, it's gone now. Um, so Tor, um, I see that traffic somewhat often, uh, and no one that's going to my website that's going to pay for any of my services are going to be using Tor. Um, it, at least I just don't see see why. And if you don't know what Tor is, Tor is a it's a, a browser kind of kind of simplifying here but tour is a browser that allows you to do all these hops from country to country to country or place to place to place to place to place to place to place, to place boom and then you hit the website it'll do 10 to 20 hops um, to hide its its path its traffic you know so um, if you're if you're hacking, um, one of the things you want to block is your IP address. So Tor is a really good tool to use if you're trying to hide who you are. Um, no one that's going to pay for my services would, would ever do that. So I'm going to set up a rule to block Tor. And so I'm going to set up a rule that just is if country. Um, and I'm using country here because it doesn't make a ton of sense until you see how it, how it works here. Let me just show you. So if the country equals Tor... So I know Tor is in a country, um, but I think Cloudflare uh, knows what the IP address is of all the Tor nodes because that list is publicly available somewhere, I'm sure. Um, so they're just saying, tell you what, if it's a Tor node, then we can block all that. And I'm going to go ahead and do that because nothing good is going to come out of the, whoever is using Tor um, trying to get to my website. All right, so now we have two rules um, and I'm still under the free account. I can do up to what five rules? Yeah. Um, so and you can be, you know, you could do a lot of if else statements. So if it's not this country, or if it's, you know, let's say you're getting hit from um, India or China, you can temporarily drop that country in there to block the traffic, or maybe not block the traffic, but give it a JavaScript challenge um, to make sure it's a real person that's trying to get to the website. Um, that's important. But here's the 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 whole reason you're probably here if you're a WordPress user. So let me show you. Um, so if I create a firewall rule and say if wp login.php. So if someone's trying to hit the, the login page, uh, and I'm going to set it up where if they are not in the United States and they're trying to hit um, the, the website, uh, chances are I mean, the only people that are going to log in to my website to make changes on the website, it, me or probably my project manager, maybe my designer. Um, so, and they're all in the United States. So, I'm going to go and just say if uh, if not in the in the U.S., block them. So, we're going to do this. So, if URI, and so there's a couple different things you can do in here. Um, you can do the full URI. Um, but I'm going to do if the URI path contains wp-login.php because WordPress can reside. It doesn't have to reside in the root. Uh, WordPress could be in slash wp or slash whatever directory WordPress is in. Um, this will allow me to be more to, to cover someone that's trying to hit, you know, trying to find the WP login. Um, and so this will cover all, all of those those paths, if that makes makes sense. Um, so if the path contains WP-login.php and the country does not equal, am I doing that right? If it doesn't equal the United States, then, yeah, then block it. And if I, like uh, a couple months ago, I was in the Netherlands, I mean, I didn't go and work on my website or anything, so it's not that big a deal. But, you know, if I am traveling, I could go in and change the rule to allow, you know, wherever I am, um, which is kind of handy. You can also use a VPN. Um, but anyway, so if the path, if someone's hitting wp-login.php and the country doesn't equal United States, then block it and hit deploy. And these rules are important uh, as far as ordering. Um, 
So, and I, I like the way I have the order in here, but if you're tinkering in here, um, you kind of want to go from the um, least specific down to the most specific, uh, or maybe you do it the other way around, just tinker with it a little bit um, in here. Um, but that's pretty much it. Those are some, some basic um, things that I like to set up on, on websites for security purposes. So um, if you have any questions, uh, put in the comments. I'll try to try to respond. Um, and I mean, I hate to ask, but I'm going to ask, uh, you know, give me a like if you enjoyed this uh, and feel free to subscribe. Uh, all right. Enjoy. Happy New Year.